everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Caitlin and today I will be showing you how to master your iron X on the pole, which is a really great human flag progression since your feet are closer toward the pole and your arms don't have to bear as much of the weight. So number one, I will be showing you the technique and how your body should be positioned. So the left hand is going to be on the bottom with the fingers pointed down and the right hand is going to basically go around the front of the pole with a twisted grip and the fingers are pointed toward the ceiling. I find that it's a lot easier this way. Next you're going to think about your chest opening outward toward the right, toward the ceiling, really opening up those shoulders. It's really going to help with the momentum there. So kicking with the outside right leg, out and then up. Once you find your balance, slowly lower your left foot with control to get into the iron X slash straddle flag. Make sure to keep your center of gravity as close to the pole, so always try to keep your feet close to the pole, engage those hip flexors, push with the left bottom shoulder, and pull with the top arm to hold. In a second, I'll talk about the progressions that you'll need to do. So we're going to start off with mini flag kicks. So use that momentum from your right leg to open up that chest and engage your shoulders to hold. The goal is to get comfortable with the grip and trust your arms to hold yourself in the air, even if it's just only for one second. Next is high flag kicks. Really drive your right leg as much as you can to kick as high as you can and try to get your feet together when you're in the air. The goal here is to get out of your comfort zone and get as close to a horizontal body position as possible. Cool, so next is the bent knee kicks. Really the same thing as the high flag kicks, but this time you're going to swing with your right leg and keep the right leg and knee bent since this will help you into your transition for the next move, which is the tuck kicks. So here we go, starting with the left arm down, fingers pointed down, right arm, fingers pointed up, using the right leg to drive up, and then you try to tuck as much as possible in the air. Pro tip is to tuck your knees while really opening up that chest toward the ceiling and keeping your gaze toward the ceiling as well. So the next two progressions are quite similar. The first is the tuck hold, same as the tuck kick except you find your stability and balance while inverted and then once you find that you extend your legs into the Asia, which is a beautiful pull move and pose, great for photo shoots too. After the tuck hold and the amazing Asha, the next progression is the handstand where you drive your feet toward the ceiling. Be sure to keep your bottom shoulder steady and strong since your weight is stacked on top of your shoulders. The next progression is a fun one and it helps to increase your arm endurance. It's the handstand to Asha. So this is the Asha right here and that is the handstand. So you want to go to your Asha and handstand and that's one and that's two. So you want to do this at least five times in a row and at this point you already have the strength to be able to go into the straddle flag and iron X but it's super important to increase your strength in the necessary shoulder slash oblique muscles. As with any aerial apparatus it's important to always switch sides to balance things out. You can see that this is my non-dominant side but I also wanted to show you that this is what I looked like when I first started attempting the straddle flag slash iron x on my dominant side so you can definitely do it and I believe in you. Finally once you have enough endurance and strength you're ready for the straddle flag slash iron x. You want to lower your left leg down with control and hold that straddle shape, keeping in mind your feet being closer to the pull. And if you're struggling with any of the previous progressions, here are some exercises that will help target specific muscles. So the first conditioning exercise is the side plank hold. This is really going to help with the pushing mechanism with the bottom hand. So for me, this is the left hand that's on the bottom of the pull and it's pushing and really engaging the shoulder while you're doing this as well. The second conditioning exercise is leg raises and this is going to target your hip flexors especially for its mobility and flexibility. So when you're in the straddle shape you want to make sure you have beautiful lines, engaged quads, straight legs, pointed toes. So this is this exercise is really going to help with the beauty slash grace factor when you're in your straddle flag. On to the third exercise, the scapular push-ups. These are one of my favorite conditioning exercises because it really targets and engages shoulder muscles and helps with 
the mobility and coordination. The scapula is also known as the shoulder bone or shoulder blade. So they're the two triangular bones that lie on the upper back. For the purpose of this exercise, you want to try to squeeze your two scapular bones together as if there's an invisible finger in between the two right there. Try to aim for at least five and ideally ten. And a common mistake is microbending in the elbows, so make sure to keep them straight and only move your scapula muscles. The fourth exercise is handstand shrugs, which again targets the shoulder muscles. So you want to keep your arms straight and shrug your shoulders as much as you can to get the full range of mobility. And then push the ground so your shoulders will be right next to your ears, hopefully touching your ears. Finally, we have the last exercise, which is one arm handstand holds. This is so crucial because when you're in your iron X slash straddle flag, you have to fully trust your bottom arm to hold your entire weight. And the bottom shoulder must be super engaged and strong enough to push against that gravity. And your top arm has to be strong enough to assist and pull some of the weight off the bottom. And there you have it, the step-by-step -step technique, progressions, and exercises to nail your iron X. It honestly took me a few months of training on and off to be able to get into the Asia, so do not feel discouraged if you're getting stuck on one of the progressions or not able to hold the position for as long as you'd like. Just keep trying, and as cliche as it sounds, do not give up and always practice with courage. With practice, you'll be able to master the skill, and I believe in you. Thanks for watching, and happy training!